So we're going for a couple of nights away to Callow Top Holiday Park um, near Ashbourne in Derbyshire. Yeah. Really looking forward to this, aren't we? A brother recommended it to us uh, last week, so we were due to be going to um, Shrewsbury, but we've altered things around a little bit, haven't we? Yeah. So we're going to do Shrewsbury later this week, but we're going for a couple of nights. Yeah, it's right on the Tissington Trail, so it'll be good for the dogs. It's walking distance to Ashbourne, which is what we like. Yeah. I, I think, think there's even a pub on site, isn't there? Yeah, it's only about a mile to Ashbourne, so that's that's one of the things that we particularly like about um, those type of campsites that are local to areas that we can just walk into, so we're not having to move the van all the time. One mile in, so it's about a 30 minute walk, then you've got a very historic town of Ashbourne, lots of cobbled streets, uh, you've got a market on a Thursday, I think, lots of uh, historic Georgian buildings there, lots of them listed. So. We'll explore it, take a bit of video and let you see what's what. Mm, let's go. Okay. Lovely. She gets car sick. That seems to be a regular feature oh, of our journeys. Oh dear Nelly. Oh. Well when I say awning it's just one that pulls out from the van. We don't have a separate one. Hey, that's Side. It's nice. Our pitch isn't great, is it? It's very small. There's sort of three rows. We're in the middle row. But it's fine. We're only here for two nights. It's not. It's not the place you'd really want. You'd really enjoy sitting out, probably though, because you've got people on this side and people on that side and people over and people behind. Yeah. We do like a certain busyness, don't we? If it's a bit yeah. of a ghost town, then it is very quiet today, isn't it? Oh. oh! Oh! flipping heck! What was that? I'm getting old. There's a bit up and down here. So we're heading into Ashbourne. Whereabouts are we going, mate? George and Dragon. Or the dragon. Yeah, the George and Dragon. The George and Dragon. 23 minute walk from the sand, aren't we? This is quite nice, isn't it? I'm such a gent, I got the gate for you, didn't I? As usual. How oh, very dare you. Careful. <laughs> She's so strong. Come on, you Come on. 
Thank you. Come on, baby. That's it. Is this the trail? Wow. There we go. Our first glimpse of the Tissington Trail. So along the trail you've got a little bike, higher centre, some toilets, just before you get to the, the long tunnel here. I believe that this trail used to connect Ashbourne to Buxton but I think about 50 years ago it was brought out by the, um, the Peak District National Trust and they changed it so that it was just like a pedestrian bike area and you could sort of cycle down it and use it for a bit of exercise Oh this is incredible Look at that just look at the feat of engineering there to actually build that out of bricks It's worth coming to the campsite just for this isn't it? Yeah. Green when they say light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Seven minutes somewhere. We've only got 20 minutes before it stops serving food, so. It's actually been a full half hour walk, isn't it? That's like that's yeah. never. That's because we've not known where it is, though. Yeah. Just. We got in with about two minutes to go, didn't they, before they stopped serving food. <laughs> Ooh, we like to cut it fine, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Just, just finished the meal, haven't we, babe? Very nice, Cobb. No thanks, not right in my face. Um, very nice. We've had carbonara. What did you have? Right, and you said it was best you've had in a long time, didn't you? Mm. Yep, so Power. Poop. It's not something we want to go telling everyone, is it? <laughs>
this bring back memories, babe? Yeah, this is really weird. I knew this town looked familiar. I think me and my mum came here, I don't know, they were just about 20, so about 19 years ago, to get a gypsy skirt for a barn dance, actually. And I was wearing that skirt when we first met, yeah. 12 years ago. That's incredible. That is weird. I remember that dress. I wore that till it had holes in it and couldn't wear it anymore. That green beach dress. Yeah, so I think we should go and have a look around. Yeah, you should go in and get another one. Mm. Yeah? Yep. Saying. Yeah, so this is actually the last night of our uh, stay. Where the <laughs> heck are we? <laughs> Shrewsbury for like yes. the fifth time. This is so we've moved on to Shrewsbury, Oxham Park. It's been a glorious few days here, but obviously we want to just give you a review of the last campsite, Callow. Callow Top. Callow Top and In our Ashmore. thoughts on it. Yep. So what did you think, Ray? What did you think? Well, there's a lot of positives, but it probably didn't help that the weather wasn't great. We're a little bit fickle. If the weather's great, we think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> and if it's very gloomy, then it tends to cast a bit of a, a pall over it, doesn't it? So, yeah. But there were lots of positives. It was only one hour from home. You walked along the Tissington Trail to get into Ashbourne. Heart, a 30 minute walk, that was it. Um, obviously, because you're right at the southern part of the Peak District, You've got easy access to Alton Towers if you've got young kids, so that's probably a 20 minute drive from the campsite. Mm -hmm. You've got Buxton just on the doorstep, haven't you? You've got Matlock, so there's loads to do in that location. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think it's probably not one that we would go back to any time soon, is it? Well, we don't really like driving the van around. We're quite happy to just get somewhere. We choose places where we can go and park up and then there's either a park and ride or we can walk into town. And, and No, we could walk into town. That was fine, 30 minute walk. But actually two days, two nights was just plenty, wasn't it? Because yeah. I don't think we would have wanted to walk in again on a third day. Yeah. Two days, we'd, we'd seen it and we were happy. So really good for a, for a short day for us, wasn't it? Yeah. So Brian, thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> Were there any other good bits before we sign off? It, I like the fact that there was an area where you could throw the ball for the dog. It wasn't actually on the site, it was on the public footpath that goes down to the Tissington Trail. Yep. And the fact that you took dogs can be off lead on that, on that trail all the way into town, that was a real mm. plus, wasn't it? I think if you are a family looking for a campsite where you can stay on site, uh, and just have a really quiet time with young kids. It's probably an ideal one, isn't it? Yeah, because it had a heated pool. Yeah, heated pool. You've got a pub on site which um, does pub food. You know, I think you saw that on a bit of the drone footage that you've got loads of outside benches. That would have been really nice. It wasn't open while we were there. I think that would have added to it if it had have been, wouldn't it? Yeah, you've got two or three different playgrounds. You've got a football field for the kids. So if you are looking for somewhere where you just want to chill out for a week with the kids, have a quiet time, not have to move on site and you've got everything there, it's probably for you. Yeah, but for us, it was two nights was enough and we enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we've now moved on. We moved on to Shrewsbury a few days back. So this is actually our last night here. Yeah. Um, absolutely fabulous campsite. So if you want to watch the review, see our thoughts on this one, look out for the next video. Yep. Okay then. I don't know what to say.